what's going on crypto cousins this is your bitcoin baby daddy here with another episode if you're new here go ahead hit the like button hit the subscribe button because i'm making content every day this month anyways <laughs> today we're going to be talking about is zerion and zapperfy so they're pretty much like applications that allow you to track your um crypto portfolio if you're doing things like DeFi and whatnot um it can pretty much read your ethereum wallet it can show you a lot of information better than etherscan not only that but it, they have like a lot of integration tools that integrate with all these different protocols all these DeFi platforms and whatnot so today what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you um i guess the pros and cons and the differences between the two so um let's go ahead and check that out first thing we're going to do is go ahead and check out um zapperfy so here's zapperfy and you can see here you can plug in a wallet i plugged in these nuts because these nuts <laughs> but um you can plug in any wallet you want to so so if i can go to, so if i go to like this old tweet right and in this tweet um boom i had clicked on this right here and i can click on this address so i can copy this address go on zapper and i can add an address now if i pull this address i can see like all the information of what's going on in this address um you see they got like um three thousand dollars staked in farm and claimable about a dollar something but you can see like a majority of their holding is like eth which is like two million dollars and a bunch of other coins that they really you know they got like almost a hundred thousand dollars in ust dt and whatnot so essentially what Zapperfy is doing is it's like pretty much breaking down everything. It has a very pretty user interface, um, better than, um, Etherscan. And you know, it just shows you everything that you're, you're doing. So like, if we pull up this wallet, we can see that it's got a bunch of different cryptocurrencies and whatnot valued at whatnot, but you all can see it's got like some staked in, um, some Wi-Fi being staked. It's also got some USDC um, WETH account. It looks like there's $2,500 in there, a total of like $5,000 there. And it got some farming accounts right here. And it looks like um, some unis being farmed and some, I guess some Y curve is being farmed too as well. And you can see right here, total net worth is like, and it accumulates all the assets. So if you have assets that are being pulled on Uniswap, or if you just have like assets sitting in your wallet, it essentially pulls it all together to show you like the total amount that's actually in this wallet. So that's pretty useful. Now, um, what you also can do is you can go into invest and you can go ahead and like invest in different liquidity pools. You can add liquidity with just like one click. Not only that, but you can also add liquidity. Um, if you've seen people add liquidity directly on Uniswap, you know you have to have like a 50% of t the two tokens that you wanna um, pool. So like say if you had like this um, USDC um, WETH, you'd have to have um, the same amount. So like 2,500 in USDC, and of course, that same amount of ETH, which is like 6.6 .6, um, ETH. But with Zapperfy, you can actually add liquidity and not have both um, a 50-50 split. You can actually have one asset. So if you had like $5,000 worth of ETH, you can put that $5,000 worth of ETH into any liquidity pool and it'll automatically separate it for you within like one transaction which is pretty good so it's you know giving you less clicks to do what you want to do instead of you know interacting directly with um like uniswap and whatnot now it also has an exchange feature um it also has an explore feature um where you can explore um all your different pooled assets and you can go to curve you can see all that and then you can go to all your transactions and whatnot and see all your transactions that you've done. So that's pretty much this app in a nutshell. Um, it can track everything and it gives you a nice, pretty interface. Um, and it can allow you to like pool together in different um, liquidity pools to do what you need to do. Now, um, what we're gonna do is go to Zerion. This is the same address, but now this is the Zerion um, application. And you can see with the Zerion application, it looks a little bit more professional in a sense. Like this one looks a little more bubbly and whatnot, but you can change the views and whatnot. And you can see it just looks a little bit more bubbly and whatnot. 
I don't know what did I just say, but coming over here to Zerion, it gives it has a little more um a more professional trader feel to it. We can see right here it has the hourly, it has the daily, weekly, monthly, just like any other chart. But it essentially gives you the same information. You can see right here other assets, you know, five thousand dollars in the Uniswap pool, some Uni, and pretty much Wi-Fi governance, all that good stuff, and then all the list of assets. But the major thing that you're seeing different here is Zapper said that this wallet was worth um, $16,300, while Zerion is talking about this wallet's worth $7,054. So where is that difference coming from? Well, apparently Zerion is um, not blocking some assets. So you can see like everything. Granted, if you go to um, Zapper, it's actually missing a couple of those assets. If you can see that right here, um, one, two, like one, two. Yeah, I see about one, two or three, three different assets that it's actually missing. So this is pulling up more information. It has more um, cryptocurrencies so it, it, it can recognize more. And that's, that's, you know, I think the major difference right now, but you can do the exact same thing you can explore. But you see with um, Zerion, not only can you, um, they recent, not only did they just recently add the feature to pool into to into liquidity pools, just like how you can do a Zapper, but you can also integrate with things like Compound and Maker to, um, yeah, you can integrate with, see, you can integrate with things like Pont Compound and Maker to go ahead and, you know, lend out your coins and you know mint debt and whatnot then you can go right here to said you know you can lend out your coins right here um and then it got a little market cap and you got a little explore page where you can see all these different things so it has a little bit more um to it you know it has a little bit more kick to it it's a little bit more organized token sets and all that good stuff this application allows you to not only get into liquidity pools but it also has a little bit more tokens and also it allows you to lend and borrow and it can also exchange as well. You can see you can exchange with all, the same situation. All you know, all these exchanges be looking the same when you're doing um, ETH transactions and whatnot. So I know your question is why is Zapperfy more popular than Zerion? Well, it's because before Zerion didn't have the ability to pull tokens like that and now they do. But not only that, but it looks like um zapper Phi, they look like they have a protocol coming out and you know there's not much said but this is just a website but it looks like a protocol is coming out and if a protocol is coming out there's probably a token coming out with it too but you know that's just some speculation but essentially both apps do the same thing except you know zapper doesn't allow you to mint debt um it doesn't allow you to um connect and lend through the lending platforms and whatnot, but hopefully they're gonna be able to do that soon. Now, personally, which one's better for me? Um, I'm just bouncing through both of them right now because I've recently just started, I've used them before, but I haven't really like um, used them to like interact with protocols. Now I'm just really using it just to track coins and just to see like how my portfolio is doing over time. But yeah, so that's just my um, analysis and comparison to both Zerion and Zapify. Um, let me know in the comments, have you guys used, have you guys, um, pulled or you, have you guys became a liquidity provider using Zapify or Zerion? Um, let me know in the comments, have you been using it to track your portfolio, your mainly your ether portfolio, because that's, that's mainly where all the action is happening. Um, but let me know in the comments if you guys been using it. Other than that, check me out next time. Take it easy. Peace.